What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're making a cocktail called the Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, it's created by a bartender named Alex Day from Death & Company. I'd, I'd go on and on about Death & Company and what geniuses they are, but you know what geniuses they are because they came out with two books, obviously the, the Death & Company cocktail book, but then also Cocktail Codex, which won a James Beard Award. And not only that, I think, I may be wrong, but I think that it is the very first non- cookbook to win the James Beard Cookbook Award. So that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, what I, the reason why I wanted to do this drink is because it is a very fantastic uh, redo of an East Side, which is a milk and honey cocktail, but subbing out a couple of different types of scotches for the gin. And it is just a fantastic drink. Um, it's really good for the summer, but it's also very full flavored. And I thought that this would just be a really good one to do. I was going to do this whole spiel about... Um, originally when I was constructing this in my mind, I was going to do this whole spiel about, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, sort of calling out subs for cocktails and how, oh, this is just a sub and that maybe we should just like dismiss this cocktail because you're just subbing out the main spirits. Uh, but Mary said I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. I, I, even though I just kind of did. But I found stuff to say about the drink, didn't I? All right, let's get into making it. So, real simple. I'm not going to do that. I just picked those things up to make sure they were still there. First thing we're going to do is just a couple few, maybe five leaves of mint, maybe a little more. I don't know if you guys were counting. Uh, we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. We are going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Um, we're going to give this a light little press just to release the oils, but you know, you don't want to shred anything. Okay. Then we're going to do one ounce of Isla scotch. <laughs> Maris is looking at my camera. He's like, what? Uh, one ounce. Just had to fill the fill the quiet moment, I think. Uh, one ounce of blended scotch. I am using compass box. No, you don't have to use compass box. You can use monkey shoulder. You can use famous grouse. You can use whatever you like. This is gonna go fantastically well, and I have a bottle of it, so why not use it? Uh, then we're going to get ice out of the freezer because we didn't do that. And then we're going to cut the ice down so we can put it in our tin. There we go. And then we're going to add our cocktail and give it a nice shake. We're going to give it a nice double strain so that we don't get any of the mint particulate into the drink. Now you can get the mint particulate into the drink if you like. For me, I like a nice clean cocktail, but if you want to have leaves floating in there, you can do that. And uh, that is your decision to make. And then we're just going to do a little spritzy spray of absinthe on top. And we're gonna garnish it with just a nice little mint leaf. Give it a little slappy poo and just float it right on top like that. Let's take a sip of this bad boy and spill it all over while we do it. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And you know, you'd think that the Laphroaig, which is super minerally and very smoky and very kind of peaty in flavor, would overtake the oak cross. But you know what? It 
Although it is very prominent in the flavor profile, it does not completely take over the cocktail. The thing is, is that this recipe calls for Isla Scotch. The Isla Scotch that I have on hand is Laphroaig, and it is also probably one of the more, I don't know, like accessible ones. And so, you know, when we're doing YouTube videos, I wanna make sure that I pick brands that are accessible to most people in the world, which is sometimes a challenge to do. Um, but I gotta say that uh, the oak cross goes really nicely and I can taste some of those kind of caramel notes and kind of light smoke. And then you have that nice peat minerality and then you also have a little bit of that absinthe right on the back of your throat as you swallow. Um, I wanna fix my, my little mint leaf there. But uh, So there it is, the smoke and numerous from Alex Day. This is a fantastic, very masterful cocktail. And you guys should go make it. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on not Patreon, but YouTube memberships because that's what we moved to. And we've got some exclusive content going there, which is pretty good. We've got merch on Teespring if you want to support us that way. We have a virtual bottle program. Just go to our website, theeducatedbarfly.com and uh, click on the virtual bottles. You can buy us a bottle and we will put your name on it and we'll shout you out an episode. And I will see you guys on another time. Leandro out.